Hey there, Louis Akabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a YouTube video to a page on a Wix website. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now you can see here that I have a blank page called videos on my website. Now to add a YouTube video to a page, you want to go ahead and click on the plus sign here, and this is the add button. And next you wanna click on the video and music group, and you want to click on single video players. Now you have a bunch of different options here. So if you wanted to upload a video, you could go ahead and select video upload. If you wanted to bring in a video from a different video platform such as Vimeo, Facebook, Daily Motion, etc., you could go ahead and select that option. Now, if you want to bring in a video that is hosted on YouTube, you want to click the YouTube icon here. And this is going to add a YouTube video player to your page. Now, you can adjust the size of this app here just by grabbing any of the corners of the app. So you can see here, I can easily just drag it. And if you wanna change the position of the element, you can just click on it and move it into the position that you'd like on your website. So that's how to actually add the embedded video to the page. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and point this app to the specific video on YouTube that you want to be featured on a particular page of your site. Now to do that, you wanna click on the change video button and you can see here that you also, again, have the option to select videos from these different streaming platforms. Now, if you want to just point this video to a specific video hosted on YouTube, then what you want to do is you wanna click into the what's the video web address field. You want to delete this default link and you want to paste in the URL to the specific video that you wanna host on this page. So you'll see here as I paste in the link to my video, this little widget will update to automatically display the thumbnail for that video. Now, if you scroll down in this menu, you'll also notice that you have a few different options. So you can set this to auto play, and to do that, you just wanna go ahead and toggle the slider on, and you can see here the description that says, your video will auto play on mute and visitors can choose to switch on the sound. So again, when they land on this page, the video is gonna start playing. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off. And you'll also notice the other option in terms of playback is that you can set this video to play in a loop. And again, if you wanted to do that, you could just toggle this on. And that just means that this video is going to cycle through. It's going to repeat itself once it's completed until your visitor leaves the specific page of your website. Now I'll go ahead and toggle this off. And if I scroll down, you can see here that you also have the option to add a description. So I am just going to enter a description here. And so it's important to note that this description is not going to be displayed on the page. This description is actually saved in the background as an attribute of that video to help boost SEO for the particular page that this video is hosted on. So that's how to actually add or embed a YouTube video on a page of a Wix website. The next thing that we're gonna look at is how you can actually change the layout and design of this embedded video widget on the page. All right, now with respect to the design of these embedded videos, you do have some options in terms of how you can actually change the appearance to meet your specific requirements. Now to do that, you wanna click on the widget and that's going to bring up these design menu icons. Now, the first one here is the layout icon. So you wanna go ahead and click on this and you'll notice here the only option you have to change with respect to the video layout are the playing controls. Now, essentially what the playing controls are is it's referring to the play button and the audio and the timeline of the video that will appear along the bottom. So I'll go ahead and preview this and I'll play the video and I want you to pay attention to the bottom of this widget. Hey there, Louis Cabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to... And so you can see here at the bottom, there is no play button, no sound or no timeline. Now, if I come back into my editor 
And again, I click on the element and I click on the layout and I select on hover. And now if I preview my video and play it, you can see here that the video controls are displayed at the bottom. So it's a very subtle change, but again, it is something that you can configure to meet your specific requirements. All right, the next design element that you can customize on these embedded videos is the actual design of the video player. So to bring that menu up, you want to again, click on the widget and then click on the design icon, this paintbrush. And this is going to bring up the video design menu. Now you'll notice there's four different options here. There's the fill color and opacity. There's the border group, shadow and text. Now, if you wanted to customize any of these, you can just click into that respective menu and you can go ahead and change the settings for that specific design element. So if you wanted to change the fill color and opacity, you can go ahead and select your desired color by clicking on the color icon. That's going to bring up the color picker. You can go ahead and select your preferred color and you can adjust the overlay opacity and color by toggling the slider here. Next, you can click into the border group. And again, you have the option of applying borders to your video player. Now you can do that again by clicking on the color and selecting your desired color from the picker. And an important note with these color pickers, um, if you wanted to add your own custom color, you can do that just by clicking the add button. And here you can choose to add a custom color either by inputting a hex code RGB codes or even an HSB code. Now I'll just close out of this. And if you wanted to apply the border after selecting your color, you can go ahead and adjust the width of your border and you can kind of see here it changes in real time. Next, you also have the option of applying a shadow to the video player. Now to do that, you just want to click on the apply shadow toggle and you again can see the subtle change here and you also have the ability to customize the shadow. So if I wanna go ahead and make this bigger or smaller, I can just adjust the size. If you wanted to change the angle of that, you can go ahead and adjust the slider here, et cetera. And you even have the option of changing the color of your shadow. And last but not least, you also have the option to change the appearance of text. Now, if you click into the text icon here, you'll see a bunch of different options. And right at the top, you can see here that it says title and play button. Now, interestingly enough, based on my testing, actually changing the color or the appearance of the title and the play button, it didn't work. It didn't actually do anything for me. So. I tried to look through the help documentation. I couldn't find anything. And so again, if you do try to change this text and it does work for you, I'd really be curious to hear from you. So please drop a comment below. But again, based on my testing, changing the design of the text didn't actually do anything on the embedded video player. So again, something to keep in mind when you're trying to customize the appearance of these embedded videos. And so that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to add a YouTube video to a page on a Wix website. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acabellas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.